But suppose there's a Christian, a Jehovah Witness, and a few others that are neither a Christian or a Jehovah Witness. They're in the woods, and they're far away from home. Someone just happens to notice that there's a huge pack of wolves are approaching. They realize now they will only have a few minutes to live. To a Jehovah Witness, what could you say that would ensure others that you can be guaranteed to have eternal life on a paradise earth, knowing you will die in a few minutes. If you say, well, you can't guarantee that, for only Jehovah will judge and decide what is right, then what good is it becoming a Jehovah's Witness? To the Christian, one could point to the thief on the cross, was not able to go door to door or do anything good. But what he said in less than a minute to Jesus guaranteed him eternal life. That is why becoming a Christian is better, besides many other reasons. Sometimes our time is short between life and death, especially if someone is dying in a hospital. It only takes less than a minute to state that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and ask for forgiveness of all your sins and you believe that God has raised him from the dead. To what could a Jehovah Witness give as a hope to one lost is not a guarantee, but a hopeful wish that even that Jehovah Witness does not have that assurance. Here's a scripture I'll leave you with. Romans 8.16 says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. This is something of a guarantee that we can have now. And that's why being a Christian is so much better than a Jehovah Witness.